All right, did you do the coding challenge? So here goes the solution. So of course we start by defining the variables that we need for this exercise. So hi John, and I set these like randomly to 172 centimeters. You can of course just use uh, some value for yourself and hide Mike 165. Okay, just a T here. And now the ages of both. So the age of John, and I chose 26, and age of Mike to 29. Now we have to calculate the score for each of them. So score John, and I don't remember the formula for this. So it is the height plus five times the age. So in this case, it's uh, height John plus five times age John. And now the same thing for Mike. So var score Mike equals height Mike plus five times H Mike. Now oh, again I'm missing the T here. Okay, and so now it's time to start taking the decision. And of course we use an if else statement to do that. Alright, so how does John win the game? John of course wins the game if his score is greater than Mike's score. So how do we do this? We just write it like this. So score John is greater then score Mike. And in this case, we want to log to the console that John wins the game. And we also want to print uh, the score. So we do it like, like this. So John wins the game with, and then we put a score here. So score John. points. Alright, and now we need to find out how Mike wins the game. Mike wins the game if his score is greater than John's score. And what we need here is an else if. So if the first condition is not true, then go to the second condition. So the second question was is score Mike greater than score John? And if it's true, we want to log to the console that Mike wins the game with points. All right, so and none of these two are true, then we go to the else part of the if else statement. So that will be console.log there is a draw. Cool. So we could of course uh, make this even more precise by writing else if score John is the exact score uh, than Mike has. So score Mike. Now in this case this wouldn't really be necessary because the only way in which this and this is not true is that they have the same score. So this part would not be necessary here. But just to make sure and just to, to show it to you, uh, I decided to include it here as well. So let's now take a look at the result of the game. Alright, so Mike wins the game with points, but it's something missing here and of course because I didn't include it here. All right, so I have to, of course, write a score Mike in here, and then plus. So let's do it again. And now we have the result. Mike wins the game with 310 points. Let me just check the score of both of them. And that's something we can do here in the console, which I didn't show you before. 
is that we can actually access these variables that we created here. So all these six variables, we can access them here just by writing uh, their name. So for example, we can write score John here, hit enter or hit return, and then we can see their value. So score John is 302 and the score of Mike is 310 and that's why he won the game. So everything is working just fine, right? Now suppose that John was a bit, bit taller, so 192 for example, and now yeah here we go. So now John wins the game with 322 points. Now let me just uh, check their scores again and another thing that we can do here in the console is if we don't want to write our last commands all over again, we can just hit the, the up arrow key and it will show us our last uh, commands. So score Mike, and if I hit it twice now, score John. So John now has 322 points, which means that he won the game. So everything is working here. So let's now make John a bit uh, smaller again so that we can see the, the draw here. 182 let's say okay so John still wins the game with 312 points so all right so difference is just two points now so if I make John two centimeters smaller then we should have a draw okay so here's a draw so now John's score is the same as Mike's score let's just check that all right so they're both 310 points all right, so this was the easy part. I hope you got that uh, on your own. It was just the, the concept that we have talked about before and applied to this very simple game. So let's now take a look at the fourth point, which is adding an extra player. So I will do this without looking at the other code up here. And I will also actually co comment it out so it doesn't get in our way. I will create some more space so that we can do this without looking at the other code. Okay, so this player will be called Mary and we will have to create the same variables for her as well. So we need her height, of course, which will be 158, for example, and we need her age. So age Mary will be 31. So she's a bit older. And then we need, of course, to calculate her score. So score Mary equals height Mary plus five times her age. And now the decision part is a little bit trickier than what we had before because now it's not so easy to determine who wins the game. All right, but let's start again with John. So how does John win the game now? So in order for John to win the game, he needs to have a score higher than Mike and at the same time higher than Mary, right? So how do we write this? So if score John is higher than score Mike, and this is what we already had, and now the magic part is the AND operator. So what we want is that John's score is higher than Mike's and at the same time higher than Mary's. So score John higher than score Mary. Make sense? So let's imagine the following situation. Imagine John has 300 points and Mike has 250 points and Mary has uh, just 200 points. So in this case, John has more than Mike, so this is true, and uh, John has more than Mary as well, so this is true as well. So true and true, uh, as you learned in the last lecture, uh, results in true. So in this case, this would be true, and it makes sense, because that's exactly how John wins the game, if a score is higher than both the other scores. So I will actually copy this part from here, so I don't have to write it over again. So John wins the game with score John points. All right, and now we need to make the same thing for Mike. So we use the else if statement and write if score Mike 
is greater than score John and at the same time score Mike is greater than score Mary and in this case Mike wins the game so I will just come here and copy this part of the code and paste it here all right and now the same thing for Mary so this is simple right so Mary wins the game if her score is higher than Mike's and John's at the same time so score Mary needs to be greater than score John and score Mary needs to be greater than score Mike and in this case we have of course Mary and score Mary and now the final part if none of these happens then we want to draw so if no one wins the game then of course we have a draw so it is a draw and let's actually do it differently by saying it's a draw just to show you something because now javascript uh, simply finishes this string here as you can see as the rest became white so we open the, the string and then we close it here and this part is no longer part of the string which is not what we want so we have to escape this this character and we do it here with the backslash uh, symbol so now uh, javascript simply interprets this as part of the string as part of the text and no longer uh, sees this as the end of a string all right so let's now run the thing so mary wins the game with 313 points so let's check out their scores score john score mike and score mary all right so this makes sense so mary has the most points so she wins the game let's now just change the the other players let's make him a bit smaller again at 70 for example and now mary still wins the game of course yeah i should have make mike taller let's make him 195 and now mike wins the game and once again i will check out the scores by hitting the up arrow on my keyboard and john all right so mike has the highest score now now if we make john a little bit older he will probably win the game yes that's right so john mike and mary now john has the highest score all right so this is working just fine all right so once again i hope you did the challenge and if you did that it was helpful to you and if you didn't fully uh, complete this part here and it's not a problem i'm sure that by now you understood uh, how it works and how we use these boolean operators because this is something really important and we will use it all the time so so yeah this is uh, pretty important to that you understand this part so we will now move on to our next uh, fundamental javascript concepts right in the next lecture